Thank you for calling Donald Eckhart Orchards. Our peach season has come to an end early this season. We do not have fruit on our later varieties due to a warm winter. We look forward to seeing you with a, a nice peach crop next year. Thank you. I think we probably knew that we might be in a little bit of trouble when it's 75 degrees at Christmas time and it, it stays that way. I think, think that's a, when you know that you might be in trouble for that, that year's crop. My name is Diane Eckhart and I'm a third generation peach grower in Fredericksburg, Texas. Most people don't realize that a, that a peach tree needs cold, but that's, without the cold, we don't have fruit. They're not as leafed as they should. It's a, uh, it's, it was just an interesting year this past year. I enjoy peach growing uh, because, I mean, we have, the, we have the family history of it. My grandfather, Otto Eckhart, planted peach trees, and my father, Donald Eckhart, wow, that's me back in the back room. continued on the peach growing until 2003, when my sister and I are now running the peach orchards. This is uh, the daughters, Debbie and Diane. Oh, we've been blessed with wonderful crops. But they say you gamble when you go to Vegas. You should be farming. <laughs> It's the biggest gamble I've ever seen. <laughs> With peaches, it's very clear. A cold winter is an absolute. It, it has to be met. This past year, the trees just staggered along, um, not wanting to come out. We didn't have fruit on them, so we, we closed the stand early this year. So this is the future home of Eckhart Orchards. Building this building was important because it's going to allow us to focus on our peach crop through this location, but also to bring in other products. We have to be prepared for when we don't have the best crop of peaches in a certain year. I worry that we could have a repeat of last year. The predictions I've, I've heard lately from, from NOAA is that for this region, we are going to be warmer and drier. They're concerned that La Nina is starting again. Warmer than normal winters mean that we may not have peaches more years. That color there, see, that's yeah, ready to shed. You know, that's our livelihood. They're wanting to, wanting to start changing. Yeah. It's something yeah. that I think about daily when I think about the future and hoping that my niece and nephews will be able to grow peaches. We can't disregard climate science when we want to plan that far ahead. When we're looking at an orchard, we're thinking 30 years into the future. And so we have to take the information that we have now and we can't ignore it. If we ignore it, then we won't have a successful farm and we won't have farms to farm or ranches to ranch climate change is happening. It's a matter of figuring out how to adapt to it, that we can continue to do the things that we love, that we can continue to grow peaches and grow a great peach here.